All right, so now new be vet. Got a special guest. We got KB found my sound. So what's going on, King? What's going on, man? So man, bless. How did you? What made you come up with KB find my sound? I ain't come up with it. Uh, my partner, um, my little bro Fargo, uh, had came up with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just got signed with YSL. And was just really trying to come up with a nice little wave for me. Right. For me to grow as an engineer. And, you know what I'm saying? Because I salute him. A lot of people don't really ride with him. You know what I'm saying? For reasons, you know what I'm saying? We can't, you know what I'm saying, speak right. on. But he real genuine, good family man. You know what I'm saying? Look out for his people. So damn, like you really trying to give me a name, like, and you on a platform yourself. So that really made me look at myself, take myself serious. You know what I'm saying? So, you know how like Weezy Wave, Turbo, everybody got their little stamp. Right. So she, we had to come up with one for me. So he just said, "Can we find my sound?" He started saying it in almost every song, every song. So we came up with a tag, and I just stuck with it. Oh. And that would everybody just, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, that was dope. Little engineering stamp, yeah. Okay. So, um. I heard you when you said uh, you had got signed with YSL. No, no, I didn't. No, no, you didn't. I did. I you do. Did. I do a lot of work, work engineering work YSL. for them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So was that a room? Was that a rumor back then that that you did get signed with YSL? People was thinking that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people were asking me because I was around that. You know what I'm saying? Still around it. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I got a wave of my own. You know what I'm saying? I got a I got a mission to achieve on my own as well. Right. But I'm thankful. To even be around that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to turn down whatever opportunity come my way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm going to always be thankful, grateful, and, and get the work done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They can call right now and be like, yo, KB, man, we got like two projects we got to get done. Let's, yeah. let's get it. Yeah. Boom. I'm going to check my skills and make sure I don't have nothing booked. I'm gone. Right. Got to so, do that. So do, that's really amazing. When some people, they'll feel like... Um, They'll see you in a room with maybe five celebrities. They automatically, in their mind, you made it. Why you think that's the first thing some people, most people think? I mean, I ain't make it though. They'll probably, they from you know, from the outside looking in, that's what it's gonna look like. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's plenty of people right now that got little deals going on. They didn't make it. They still got a whole lot to prove. Like you still gotta get get in that gym. Practice on that shot. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you put, you being put on the shelf. You know what I'm saying? You got to make yourself relevant. You know what I'm saying? So, some reinvent themselves. Some stand in the lab for months and months and months until they find that one. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then when they put it out, they get a little test run. They don't be that one. They kind of be like a little, you know, a little hit and miss. But, nah, man, it's like a whole lot. Of, it's a whole process you got to go through. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no, oh, you round this, these people. You round them because... They rock with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? You still got a whole lot to prove. Like, see, like, I, I rock with you. Like, we can we can link up to, again tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I still got to peep you out. You know what I'm saying? Right. See what you really got going on. See if you really for this. You know what I'm saying? See if you really got what it take. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's really just, it's bigger than the picture. You know what I'm saying? It's really what, what's inside you, how your mind is. You know what I'm saying? Some ain't really built for it. Right. Some would just really do this music as a hobby or just because it look cool. It look cool. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't feel like with a whole lot of people just cut like, okay, but you change. Like, how did I change? Like, I'm doing the same thing. I'm still in the city working with whoever want to work with me. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like I'm still getting out the mud, still trying to prove myself. Right. But whoever want to come with that paperwork, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I ain't... It ain't, I ain't signed to YSL, but I salute them. They got a huge, crazy way of going. I'm thankful to even be in the same studio with a lot of those big names. Right. So I just take heed, I learn, right. and I try to put others on games as well, try to get them the same sound that I got from the big names. From the big names, right. So. Right. And which is, that's a blessing, man, because it's like, people don't understand, it's like, it ain't all about, it's not all about being signed to anybody. It's the knowledge that you gain from it, because that knowledge, got you your own business. You know what I'm saying? To the fact where now you can teach someone that same thing so they right. can open their business. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So right. it's the knowledge of skill and trade that people don't understand. That's very powerful if you use those tools right. Yeah. 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 So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're gonna be blessed for that, man. That's that's Yeah, I don't even I don't I don't try to do it for the blessed. I do it because it's just I love music, man. I love melody. I just 
I love how music make me feel. Right. I don't do music for you or for bro or you know what I'm saying? Right. For anybody, you know what I'm saying? I, I do it to really escape and I just can't help people rock with the sound or rock with how I make my music, you know what I'm saying? It, music build relationships. Right. This interview building gonna build a relationship, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. Cause I plan on doing more interviews with you. Right. You feel me? Right, yeah. Cause yeah. I feel like, bro, like, this, this like on some Vlad TBS shit, everybody, like. <laughs> everybody calling me the black Vlad, man. But not on no police shit, because I feel like Vlad is on, See, Vlad, Vlad getting yeah. people in, you know what I'm saying? Me, yeah, I, for me, sure. I get, we never met. This is my first time meeting you today. Facts, 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 facts. And it's mostly like, we do a briefing. Mm -hmm. I ask you a few questions, and then mostly like, I want newbie vets more raw, bro. Like, I, how, you know, Connection, how we talk, vibe, yeah. I vibe, you know, you're yeah. a little people person, so, this and this and that, you know what I'm saying? So, so good energy. Great energy. Great energy, man. Positive energy. Positive energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate Positive it. energy. I'm trying to promote. Yeah, for sure. So, I ain't mean, I know the yeah, corona. Yeah. I ain't got no corona, though, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, we gonna send a tie to, matter of fact, right now. Yeah. You know what so, I'm saying? Um, you all, uh, but in the beginning, you used to rap. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Like, heavy. I was real confused, though, at the time, because... I was just going through a whole lot, so maybe that's why God was like, "Man, you ain't ready to be, you ain't ready to be out there." Cause I was going through like a lot of family, like issues, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like the, the kids, child support, you know what I'm saying? So then I thought I was ready, you know what I'm saying? Trying to figure myself out, family, music, musical right. family. I'm like, damn, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do both. Cause shit, I gotta prove to her that shit, I'm all for you. You know what I'm saying? But shit, this music gonna change our life, cause shit, I'm fucking fire with this shit. Like, I'm real fire with this shit. Believe in me like I believe in you and this school. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this shit for our family, but things happen. So you gotta grab life by the horns and ride that motherfucker, like, whatever life brings. Each fort left you come to in life, you gotta pick. And sometimes you might choose the wrong route. So when you choose that wrong route, you gotta go through them dark roads again, learn. So at the time I was learning myself all the way up until now, you know what I'm saying? So I started choosing the right paths. So I put myself first. But at, at that same time, I still put a lot of people before me, you know what I'm saying? What puts me back like a whole lot, you feel me? Like it had me down, but now I just really had to learn how to balance it out, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but when you figure yourself out, then gotta know like, yeah, you ready? Right. Let me start throwing this road out. Let me see what let me see what road you gonna pick. I started picking the right one. Boom, my boy Bezo got put on. Still got a strong bond with him. You know what I'm saying? Get beats from him. Right. Ten thousand dollar beats for free. Yeah, that's a man. That's, for that's, free. That's dope, man. That's dope. Like, I just gotta drop them joint. I was playing around years ago though. Like I say, God, well, like I wasn't ready. You know what I'm saying? I don't run into a manager that really truly believe in, in me, you know what I'm saying? So we got a whole lot of everything going on. Like, I'm slowly getting back on my feet. Nigga can get it, kids. What do you want? This and that, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. So they're like, I ain't got it, but shit, I can get, you know what I'm saying? Way in a way better position. Right. Like, today my birthday, you feel me? I was locked up last year. I was broke last year. Like, I was locked up on my birthday two years in a row. Two years in a row. Yeah, for yeah. sure. On some bullshit. The first time, like, on some on some other shit. <laughs> <laughs> some bullshit. But, like I said, man, when you get older, you learn yourself, man. You feel me? You learn yourself. You figure out who you truly is. You know what I'm saying? You figure out who truly rock with you, too. Because right. a lot of people really fake it. Yeah, man. They'll fake kick it. You know what I'm saying? They're just like, you got one that won't even, like, they won't even understand, like, what you got going on, and that's for like, oh, KB, you doing this. Damn, bro, like, like damn, bro, I ain't forget about you, but I ain't even got it my damn self. Like, bro, I'm still, like, I'm still here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I post up, when I'm in the city, I'm just doing that to get folks to, like, look, this is what I'm really doing. Rock with me. Let's let's work together. Let's try to blueprint on get something big going. You right. feel me? Like, Let's really do this shit. Like, don't look at it like I'm trying to shit on you because I don't, nigga, motherfucking on my wall right now. Like, I'm tripping because I don't have shit on my wall. Like, I really need to get active with this shit. But now that I'm back taking it serious, getting the blueprint right, like, I know what I got going on. So it's just like now I, I, I'm putting dates on them, I'm getting 
copyrighted, you know what I'm saying? A whole lot of legal shit going on. Probably just put, right. throw myself out there again. Right. Right. I see a lot of people going crazy. Videos, good buzz, going to the A. Few people signing their life away. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then just to not go nowhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You going crazy, man, just to really be back sitting on your ass. Like you got to chase it, man. Don't think that cause you doing like videos, people gonna grab it. You got to, you got to put your two feet on the earth, man. Really put that energy out there. You know what I'm saying? Like you can be up here and I don't see people was right there, man. All they probably had to do was just go a little higher. And then they just start, they back down, like, buzz just went down to nothing. Now a whole nother dude got the wave. And I seen a whole nother dude get away. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah. It's a whole mind thing. If you ready, take advantage of it. Go while your mind is right. in that state. And then you, you, know also, you also have a small window of opportunity. Facts. So it's like, if you go, if, if you go viral on a Monday, you need to have something by Monday evening or Tuesday ready, new. Facts. Got to. ASAP, you got to be on point. You got, you got to be, be on go. Yeah. I had to reach out, man. Like, I don't been in beat battles and all, man. Oh, yeah? That, yeah, that probably the new generation probably won't even know about. It. You know what I'm saying? Like, right there on Gordon Howard, the account of the lounge. How that went down? Man, that shit was great. That was a nice wave, man. Over? Like, uh, It was a dude named Tony Rex. Tony Rags. Yeah. Tony he done, he, re, he relocated to Atlanta now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's probably what would be the better move for him because what he was trying to do, he was trying to create a way to, like, be nice as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it just really wasn't going for him. You know what I'm saying? Because at the time, like, come on, we in Augusta, man. People ain't going to hop on the wave until it's too late, too until late. Atlanta grab it, or Florida, or New York, or Cali. You know what I'm saying? Right. They, they ain't going to catch on it until it's too late, man. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? The people that... Which sucks, and they'll catch on another coast way quicker than they'll catch on Augusta. They own then, they own, then they own partner, man. That's crazy. Oh, my little bro, TAC said it in the interview. I'm like, damn, what well, little bro ain't no lie. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> yeah. shit, man, got down. I'm like, damn, like, my own partner. Like, bro, like, I'm dropping this fire shit. Like, you should know my shit by heart. Like, you know. The baby or future or just any thug or just anybody yeah. shit by heart. Like, come on, bro. Like, you know, yeah. when this shit get up, it's going to be genuine. Then I know you're going to really rock me, with me. Don't wait till I pop to know every word by heart. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's somebody right now. I'm nothing, but it's, I guarantee it's probably somebody in Cali or somewhere that probably yeah, know yeah. a few words by heart. You feel yeah, me? So yeah. super fan of you. Super. Yeah. I got producers right now locked in with me, 15, 17, 18 from Germany, tuned in to the way, send me beats. Like, it ain't nothing, dog. They like, they rock with me, know every word. Like, KB, I got to send you something, man. Like, right now, email full. Right. It's just genuine. So I had to, like, just pay them just on some genuine type shit. I can't let you send me nothing for free, man. Like, you rock with me. Like, you started rocking with me. Yeah. Just based off of my grind and my passion for this music. You rock with my passion, so I got to rock with you. Like, yeah. don't take it me as me being around the wide cell wave and all that as me being Hollywood. I just, I want it as bad as you do. Like, I'm still come back home and do what I got to do. And I'm, and I'm not even from Augusta, you know what I'm saying? So. You from Florida, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What part? Palaka. Palaka, okay. okay. North side. Okay. North side of Florida, man. Okay. The muddy, that, I've muddy. never been there, but it sound like it's rocking. The muddy muddy, man. <laughs> it sound like it, bro. The muddy muddy. It made me. I had to really pick what life I wanted to do. Because all my cousins, every time drug dealers, you know what I'm saying? My uncles, both sides. My mom and my pops from Palaco, Florida. My mom passed, but you know what I'm saying? But both of them. So I had no choice but to pick what I wanted to fucking. The streets. But well, KB, get your fucking life together, nigga. And my mom was just the one to. She was the one to really. My pop was military. So it was just like. We didn't have that bond, like, we don't have that bond. So me and my mom was just like this, you know right. what I'm saying? So she was the one that really, all right, boy, like, she hit my ass and I'm like, you better pick what you want to do. You're going to be nothing dead in jail with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, cousins doing that shit, doing their thing. Right. I done had my little dealings with it. So I'm like, nah, I done did my little quick jail time bond or whatever for the little drug shit that... I was like, all right, this shit ain't for me, so I'm gonna just leave that shit alone. Right after my mom pad got job with some little dumb ass shit, just trying to get a little quick dollar. You know what I'm saying? So right then I was a wake up call. 
And you know what I'm saying? I had a little bread then to a point where I just really had to tell my pops to get it and get me. Had to pay his ass back, boom, nigga, bro. That when that little dark space just, well, I was in a dark space. Jail time after my mom had, boom, out, bro. That's when I just said, fuck music. Like, had to really, that's when I really had to get myself together, like how we were talking about earlier. Right. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't all the way together back then, man. Like, but now I feel like shit. I don't learn my lesson. Got my karma. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, humble with this shit. I know what to do. Like, I feel like I'm ready. Right. If you feel like I ain't ready, then I'm, I'm ready for whatever lesson that I need to endure. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm strong enough. Like, my, my skin is thick right now. Very rough. Elephant. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay. Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but for real. You, I feel like you had to go through those things to get where you're at now. Because yeah. make you more humble. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then it's like, you know how to treat people. You know how to talk. Then, I think... Man, I give a person my last, man. Right. Even when I don't have it, man. If I got $10 in my pocket, I give you five. Right. Whatever you choose to do with that five, whether whatever you persuaded me to give you half of my 10, if you go do good or bad, that's on you. I thought you was going to do good with it. If you do bad with it, karma going to get you. Right. You do... I mean, if you do bad with it, karma gonna get you. You do good with it, then I salute you. You know what I'm saying? But I gave you that from the bottom of my heart. It was genuine. Yeah. Because one false move of me, I can be in the same position as a homeless person. In the same situation. Yo, with the sign on the X of the I-20, let me get a dollar or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be in that situation. So it's just like I do anything to not be in that situation. You know what I'm saying? Or even close to that shit. Right. Even though I'm still taking L today, See, I don't want to have my family, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to try to do whatever I can to really make sure they don't have to beg or work for somebody or whatever, even though I'm not, like, around that as I want to daily because, you know, life happens and life goes on, you know what I'm saying? Right. So you still got to take L's as a man and still learn and really elevate and, you know what I'm saying, really boss up to a point where, you know what I'm saying, people really understand in the long run, like, yeah, okay, I see why you were taking them L's? You were taking them L's for us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you was out there in the mud when we were scared to get dirty. Right. So, you know, you got people like that that will really understand later on down the road. But it'll really be up to you then to really choose if you're going to fuck with them or not because you needed that genuineness. Right. When you was in the gym, like, by yourself, late night, early in the morning, like, blood, sweat, tears. You know what I'm saying? That makes me shit happen. Yeah, for sure. Like, understand me. Like, for sure. Like, just like I try to understand you and jump. Like, I want the same thing. Like, you know, right. let it be genuine. Right. Everybody need that genuine love, genuine just everything. Like, that genuine teammate. Because ain't no telling what. Like, with a strong bond and chemistry, man, ain't no telling what y'all can achieve, man, man and achieve accomplish. So many things, man. Everybody Come on, man. On the same page, push ego and pride to the side. It'll be amazing what Augusta can do. Right. That's why I'm glad, like, y'all doing that love Augusta. You know what I'm saying? That love of hip hop, Augusta. Yeah. Man, keep going. Man, I appreciate it, man. Unlimited episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if I'm in the background, like, whatever scene y'all at, man. I don't even care. I just walk by real quick. You feel me? Quick seeing me. Yeah, thanks. for real. For real. Yeah, I so, so when you was doing the music, uh, do, what year was that? Like, was it the early two thousand? Yeah, it was like the early two thousand. Who was out? Who was out around that time when you was out there doing? Oh, uh, when I first started learning, like the cadences of just rap, then it was like Crumb, um, Prophet, a lot of them, um, Crumb and Prophet, Crumb and Prophet, M MCs, MCs, oh, yeah, that was, oh, that was lyrics, yeah. yeah. Crumb, I, I, crumb, crumb with a C. With a C, okay. Um, two M's. Two M's, okay. Yeah, and profits with a dollar sign. Dollar sign on okay. the end. I'm gonna see. I seen you. I seen you like little links. You can Google them, bro. Like guys of this shit. See, Crumb, he uh, he fought around and got signed. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. I'm trying to figure out if he got signed to Cat Williams. No, I think that was Clutch that got signed to Cat Williams. But Crumb had got a big deal. To a point where now he's doing film. You know what I'm saying? So, we're like, he got his own film company, man, doing movies. Like, he reached out to me, like, at a time where I wasn't even, like, 
figuring out what I wanted to do. Right. So now I'm on track. I want to. I want to do it. I want to do all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Rap engineer. My mind is ready for that now. I'm ready for war now. You feel me? I feel like I know what I have to do, like, and how I need to be as a person to make sacrifices and to make these moves. You know what I'm saying? Like, I probably was scared to make that Kelly trip back then to go rock with Chrome because I probably wasn't ready as a person. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, yeah, that's what he doing. Um, like, a lot of big people reached out to me, like, a king. But back then, um... I was jumping off topic, but back then, like the early 2000s, it was Crumb, Profit, uh, Get Money, Rock Boys. That's when everybody was like really creating a wave, like Smoke Grady, TK and Cash. Um, so they was out right at that. Yeah, Concrete Boys. Concrete Boys. <laughs> Concrete Boys. Wait a minute. Did they have a song sure. called My Dickies? Yeah, my DK. Yeah, yeah. And a roll yeah, around them. Yeah, man, we know Yeah, that. for sure. Shot a little, shot a video at A1. I guess they originally from Mugosa, yeah, but they shot like mainly all their videos. Okay. I guess they don't split up now. You got one that's still revving, and I guess the other one just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess he figured out what he, who he really was, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess music just right. won his wave, you know what I'm saying? So you got some that really dedicated, and you got some that really figure out them later on down the road. When you take so many L's in life, you got to really choose, like, oh, man, do I want to keep wasting these years and get older and older and older? And just, like, damn, I just wasted all them years for nothing. Especially when you choose another route. You know what I'm saying? Right. Especially like that at that platform that they reached. If I was buddy, I would have kept going. Because y'all around, like, little j young jock. You know what I'm saying? At the time, young jock had a crazy way. Right. I just feel like they didn't take advantage of that. Right. You got to take advantage of a situation, man. And see, when somebody's trying to put you on the shelf, you can't let your pride knock that and be like, damn, them boy put me on the shelf. Cause they trying to see, like, they just really put y'all aboard. They just can't make that sacrifice and throw y'all out there. Cause y'all not ready. Yet. Yeah, they might take an L. So you got to prove yourself. Right. That's what life, period. Right. Learn your lesson and, and prove yourself to people. Cause I'm pretty sure you probably think I'm not capable of a few things. And I'm pretty sure you think that I think that you're not capable of a, of a lot of things, but. That's why I'm like, you got to prove a lot of people like in the humblest way. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't recall a lot of people, like how me and bro was talking earlier, some, I recommend the artist to punch in. Don't record all the way through. Because you record all the way through, it's going to be words that you rap that's going to be very short and that people ain't really going to hear and understand. Mm -hmm. That's going to go over their head. Especially if it was a hard-ass bar that was supposed to stand out. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were to punch those bars in mm -hmm. that punchline and metaphor that you want to stand out is going to yeah, be heard more, yeah. for sure that's why i let people do their way first mm -hmm. and then i prove my way second yeah. you know what i'm saying and then we'll compare and then they always choose my way and then they on a whole new way from oh, down on out for sure for sure yeah. so, can't be found my sign sometimes you gotta show them show them a certain style. in the humblest way <laughs> For right. so man, right? For so for so. Because a lot of people like when they, you know, when they come to you, you might have an artist that might be recording with somebody else for you. Yeah, they got so their they own are pattern. Stuck to a certain pattern or a mm -hmm. certain way. And it's, you ever had an artist that was hard to get out of that pattern? <laughs> yeah, for so. Uh, whole you ain't lot of say people. No names yeah, yeah, nah, I ain't. Yeah, a whole lot of artists to this day. Yeah. And it's a, it's it's some artists to this day that still got a way that they don't want to. They got different type of punch ins. They got punches where they still one taken, but they doing like they doing like two bars stop, two bars stop, two bars stop. But it's not they're not gonna pick the bar that they want. Like how I was telling you, how them folks in the A do it. They are everybody saying is one they're gonna keep. So them gaps on their next little stack, they saying the gap bars, and it's just like an up and down pattern. That's basically like the same thing, but. I guess it's, it's people think of, about being like saving time and shit with their studio time. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people. <laughs> that be some funny thing because the people they book studio time, so they try to cram everything in that one little time, and then and then that be the miscommunication between yeah. them and the engineer because they don't understand. Like, okay, we charge an hour. We gotta also look at it as if I mixing all this down right here. That's still yeah. part of the hour. Yes, sir. Ski. I don't. I don't have plenty. Like, I'm not knocking the area. So, people that record me don't think. That's why a lot of people now, I don't preach to. Like, don't do, don't get an hour. Don't think of it as I want your money. I don't want your money. I have, I make my own money in other legal ways. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, don't think it, think of it as, I want your money. You need to get more time because you thinking, you coming in here thinking you finna knock out two songs in an hour. That's going to be complete, like, how you want them. A hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, come on, like, we're going to have to go back and fix something. Like, you didn't say, right. you didn't say everything perfect. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I try to, you know, try to, especially if you're writing, you know what I'm saying? No, no, no. I feel like, okay, maybe if you write, maybe you can knock out two songs in an hour. But if you coming in, no pen, no pad. You're gonna need at least two hours if you're trying to do like one song. Like try yeah, to, you gotta right. catch a vibe. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You gotta catch a vibe. And mixing and mastering, that's gonna take time. Like that's damn near like four hours per song. Right. And you got a song that 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 wants you to do it right after they record, and you right. probably got like five minutes left for the other session. Like, <laughs> like I'm five, but uh, come on, bro. Like you want me to move that fast? <laughs> I don't have people like. I'll be booked up to like eight in the morning sometime. It'll be like ten at night. I done had a record an artist that did an hour. Boom. Oh yeah, well, I'm gonna go ahead and pay you mix and match this joint. For sure. Like, all right, I got you. I got you. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'll still be booked up to like six in the morning, eight in the morning. Like, so boom, I gotta put them on the tab. Like, boom, I gotta make sure I get these four done. But I got a whole lot of people right before you and you yeah. that pay Big, bigger dollars to get their shit mixed and mastered to have track outs, not two track mix and masters, cause that's super duper easy. I stress on people getting, go get, get off YouTube. You gonna go on YouTube and get a beat, hit, subscribe to them, inbox that producer and buy that, buy that beat. Cause it's a million other artists, upcoming artists and artists that, that we don't even know about that's afraid to put themselves out there that downloaded that same beat. Same beat. You, you can feel tell me? About it, about it, if, it, if a beat has four million views, oh I'm man, sure oh you my god, you're not, man, you're not owning this beat. <laughs> it's just pointless. Come on, you got to think about Shady Studios too, where the, the the beat is already downloaded on their computer, and you got the artist that's just going through the downloads. So you, as an artist that's not on your shit, you got you got grimy artists that's going that's in that download. <laughs> Ooh, but that's a hard beat. Snatch that, and you got a shady engineer. I'm glad I'm not one. Right. I'm going to make sure, I'm going to stress, bring your own hard drive. And we're going to put your session on there, put your beats on there. And we're going to delete that shit right when you leave. We're going to make sure we delete all that shit when you leave. Because right. I don't want, I don't want to see you going out bad. You probably pay the producer 500 for this beat and the track out. Right. I don't want to see you go out bad. Because, man, you got some people that don't even care, man. Care. For real. Right. That's why you got to make sure you copyright it all the way ready for this. Right. It's a dirty game, man. Migos going through it right now as we speak. Yeah, what, uh, what, like, what they going through? Talking about the. Uh... See, I ain't really, I ain't did deep, but from the outside looking in and from that post, the, they were like, uh, I guess like endorsement deals and they were cheated out of millions. So it's just like, you know, what could have never happened. You know what I'm saying? What they could have got, like, probably like a hundred. I don't know. Who knows? It could have been up there. Yeah. Up there. You know what I'm saying, but I believe it. I mean, cause they were they they are still one of the biggest rap groups out. Yeah, for sure. So, but it's all about like we we're talking about that pride, that ego shit. That shit big, man. That shit a really a scary thing. Cause your right hand man to really look at you like, damn, man, bro, eating like damn, like what about me type shit? Right. And shit, to be honest, like shit, you straight too. We just shit, we gotta, you know what I'm saying, just. See, like, if you got a problem, let's talk. Instead of taking it to the public or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Let's just come back to the drawing board and talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't no ego thing. It's just like, you you, you got to understand how the game go. Like, you might be hot and I might be not hot. You know what I'm saying? At the time, it's your way. So, shit, I just got to, you know what I'm saying? And shit, and this bro decision on who's hot right now and who's not and who's getting the bread. The most bread right now, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of figure out, like that. Maybe that's what that's like. Maybe that what that they going yeah. through. So I don't, I don't know. Dang. It's just deals and shit. Shit, people need to really sit down and read right. between the lines before they just sign. People don't read no more. Most majority of people. Yeah, they skip the page fifteen yeah, yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, so I don't even think people still believe. I don't think people think uh, libraries are still open. Like is that's all because they haven't read a book in forever. I was just at the library the other day. Yeah, to some people. Yeah, some, some. But um, yeah. people afraid to get their own research. Right. You got to nowadays. Right. We can't even trust the media, man. That's fact. We can't even trust what they put 
on the news, bro. Like this shit wicked, man. Like they trying to get us to believe a lie. Mm -hmm. No, no, they trying to yeah, they trying to get us to believe the lie and the truth, which we think is a lie. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's crazy. It's like a mind game with this shit. So it's just best for a motherfucker to get go get they go do their own research. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got the conspiracy people and you got the people that just look at the people that believe in conspiracy like they're a fucking fool. Right. You know what I'm saying? Me, I just don't even say nothing. I get my own research and I believe what I want to yeah. believe. Yeah, you filter it out with the common sense. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for exactly, sure. Exactly. Like, people feel like the, the, all this corona shit is crazy. Like, come on, man. Like, it's just, who knows what the fuck going on? All we know is they closing shit down, they opening shit back up for what? Like, it's a pattern with this. So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to yeah. dead deep because I ain't. Fuck that. And the motherfucker ain't finna look at this and be like, okay, we trying to get deep on that. We finna assassinate the nigga in the future. Right. But I do my own research though. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm I'm one of those type of people where like I get deep if I feel like this shit need to get deep. Yeah. I'm gonna get my research. You know what right. I'm saying? This shit feel iffy. This shit look iffy. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? And right. and if we living in a life where this shit is controlled by one percent, bro, I feel like everybody need to do their own research instead of just living a life, bro, and just thinking this shit a movie or a fucking game, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause right. we being controlled by a motherfucker that really probably don't give a fuck about us. Right. It's just up, it's up to us to really take advantage of what the fuck going on. Right. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? We've been going through it for a while, and I just felt like it's at a, you know, the head done came out now, but head done came up, so it's like it's yeah, that shit peeping. Yeah, that bitch starting to look. Yeah, see, so you're it's crazy. Like, you know, the George Floyd and all the stuff that's been going on is basically we all needed to see that. You know, whites, blacks, everybody needed to see that. Yeah. In order for shit to actually change and in some, some form, which I feel shit been going things on, gonna though. go right back to normal. Yeah. You know, the shit ain't gonna change. It's not yeah. the first black person that killed. Yeah, for sure. Me. Shit been going on. Right. Even in, in our home in our hometowns. Right. Like all around the world, like everybody got their hometown, popular dope dealer that that was on, um, you know what I'm saying, killed crucially by the police, just innocent black person, white person, just of all colors, this shit just not no trending killing. You know what I'm saying? It's unheard of killings, unheard of police brutality that's going on. You know what I'm saying? And you got them negative people like, oh, y'all should have been doing this when, but in our hometown got, yeah, that too. But shit, at the same time, it just, it wasn't that way. You got people that's scared. Like if you, if you feel that, then just come out here and say that. You know what I'm saying? Get out there and protest that. You know what I'm saying? You can do protests in a positive way and, and make a name or, you know what I'm saying? Go out bad like everybody else going out bad. Because right. you got someone that's really playing with the police to see what they going to do. Right. I mean, you got 12. Don't give a fuck right. nowadays. Yeah, right now, obviously. For real. Yeah. You going to play around you gonna, or get your research and, and level up and get the fuck on. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. I'd rather get my own research and, you know what I'm saying, get out of the way. Stay out of the way. You know what I'm saying? It's all kind of shit going on, man. Our little girls getting uh, disappearing. I we need answers. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. This shit crazy, like people disappearing, human trafficking. This shit, this shit, shit real, real, bro. People think it's a game, that bro. Until it happened to one of they people, bro. I'm telling you, like they just so stuck on like social media, like man, like yeah. Yeah. Shit crazy though, man. Social media, I, I mean, a lot of people live on social media. A and lot. it's like, I think like it's a dangerous. large percentage of the world is on social media. And I feel like a lot of people that have businesses on social media. Like, yeah. it, it's sad to the point where, you know, you can't really put your business in the phone book anymore. Cause yeah, man. Ain't nobody gonna read that shit. The phone is the phone the book. The phone now. is the phone book. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, it ain't, it ain't, you still got people that believe you got to get out in the mud in them streets and get it. You right. know what I'm saying? People, man, we, they take them phones away from us right now. People going to panic. Oh, hell yeah. But you got something that really, <laughs> yo, you, they going to panic. They take your phones away, well, people going to panic. I'm glad I know how to goddamn go get it out there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Both the best, you know what I'm saying? Best of both worlds. I had to learn. I just chose with what I want to do in life. You know what I'm saying? So, you know so what I'm saying? So, how do you think the world would be without social media? Whew. How do you think the world would be? The streets will be really flooded, though. I feel like uh, <laughs> he said, yeah. It, yeah, I feel like the streets will be really flooded. Like it'll really be like communication. Like it'll it be way better. Yeah, it'll be genuine, man. Yeah. It'll be genuine. You can sit here like in a face and, and talk, talk 
See, you know what I'm saying? Fuck that text. I'm like, damn, you just seen me text and you're going to wait till, what time it is? It's 12 p.m. So you're going to wait till 6 p.m. to fucking reply back. And I am and I just got some, I got a money move for us. Right. I'm good afternoon. What's up, man? Let's link. Let's go drink, man. I got a little money move or whatever. And you were put that like last priority. Like, I'm for real, for real. Like, <laughs> or just let's, let's just let's hang out of something. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not hitting you up to use you for what you got. Like, let's just hang out of something. Or something like that, like going to the, or just you know what I'm saying, anything, bro. Right. Like the phones got people minds fucked up, man. Yeah, yeah, man. They start fucking me up when they stop um, abbreviating everything and you start using. Oh the, man, start using the emojis. Yeah, I was, I was, yeah, I had to, man. I, I had, had to learn that shit. I had to learn a whole lot of shit. My daughter taught me. I ain't gonna care. I was late on, like, when that WTF started popping. I was like, what the fuck is this? What this shit mean? <laughs> and you saying it? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, so this is what these folk doing now. You know what I'm saying? They shorting it. They dumbing this shit down now. They, they looking they, crazy they out here. They fucked me up when they did the TT. TTG. No, TTYL. Oh. Talk, Talk to, to you later. later. Yeah. Oh, man. I know what the you see, I just had to put that shit together real quick. <laughs> <laughs> like, for sure, yeah, that TTYL. That's crazy, man. Yeah, I got the LOL. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the yeah. LMAO. Yeah. Some shit. The right. way is crazy, man. Yeah. yeah. This Let you know how time go by. Right. That's why you got to grab life by the horn, man, and ride that shit. Whatever right. happens, happens. You got to deal with it and go. However you handle that shit, that's on you. Yeah. Fumble, pick that bitch up and keep going, or you just going to let the ball keep fumbling on and let somebody else pick it up. Pick six or just whatever. Like You could have been that way. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Going right, up. Man. So, man, before we slide off on newbie vet, man, any love you want to shout out? Oh man, see, see this, this, see this, this, this when it get crazy. Cause you know, oh, he bro ain't shot me up. <laughs> Just for the ones that really rock with me, y'all know what's going on, man. You know, um, shout out to Jalen, shout out to Bezo, shout out to Sturgis, um, you know, shout out to uh, a lot of people, man. Shout out a lot of people, man. Uh, YSL Fargo, shout out to the whole YSL. Uh, shout out to you, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Cause you know, I re- I said I, I want to be a part of what you got going on, man. Cause somebody gonna got down. What your boy Wavy say? You gonna be big. This gonna be big. <laughs> like for sure. You, you know, I done I done interview at least four or five people that got signed. Uh, True Cash. I yeah. Shout out True Cash, man. Shout out to Jay Fox. QC. Uh, Little Spaz working on something. Okay. Shout out Okay. For sure. And th- Shout out to them too, yeah. yeah. Uh, what, Authentic Empire. Authentic yeah. Empire. Yeah. Shout out to all of them that just got signed from the city, bro. Yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. whatever negative feedback, I'm sure they're getting feedback from them, you know what I'm saying? Just regardless of what they do, like, just keep going up, you know what I'm saying? Because it's motiv- motivating a lot of people from Augusta, like, to right. go up. Right. Even the ones that are not even from here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Take heed of that, learn, you know right. what I'm saying? Just because. A younger dude don't got on before you, don't give up. Just no shit. They just bring a more spotlight to the city, man. Right. So just keep going crazy, stay creative, and stand alive. Right. Yeah, That's all you got to do. City. You know, everybody coming, they snatching people from the they city been, for a reason. They've been coming they to the city, though, for years. People yeah. just don't know that. They just wasn't moving how they wanted them to move. Like, they right. wasn't, like, the numbers, like, people paying for views. Like, right. yeah, just keep working, man. You know what I'm saying? I know we're wrapping up, but people just keep working, man, because they been coming in the city, bro, A&Rs and all. We finna get, what, a museum right here on Broad Street now, right? right. Mm-hmm. That shit crazy, like a little James Brown Jane James or something Brown, like that. Yeah. They actually built, they fixing it up right now, yeah, dog. Right if y'all bust that left right here on Broad, y'all gonna yeah, see it. Right there. Shit right. crazy. Like, Augusta been on the map, but I just feel like we need to put it on the map for this music now. Entertainment-wise. Right? Entertainment-wise. Oh, There's talent out here. Yeah. I'm tired of going to the A. Augusta being talked about. Bad in a good way, right. in in music about music like boy that's where the talent at. Right. That's making the A and R's like re- redirect. They know <laughs> down I twenty this way. Right. Yo, come to Augusta, man. Exactly. And I ain't even from here. I'm from Palacio, Florida, and I'm still like, man, shit, I'm gonna do whatever yeah, it takes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. So it's just like you know, go up. Right, right, right. I'm trying to go up. You feel me? <laughs> I can't even find you on social media. Uh, Instagram, um, KB Find My Sound, KB F O U N D N Y S O U N D, um, Twitter, KB Shouty, S H A W T I E. You know, that's about it. Uh, and I got a KB Shouty.com too. Yeah, KB Shouty.com. That's it. That's it to be up July 28th. 
that's when Blue China dropping. We got a project. I've been, you know, in the works, man. Been very low key with it. But so, but yeah, we're gonna work though. We're gonna do some more work. Though. I wanna more interviews, all that, man. Oh, man. I gotta hit yeah. you up too about some oh. other shit too. Okay. Okay. So for so, salute to you, man, for real. I appreciate that, King. I appreciate so, that, man. so for so. Bless, bless.